Hey there, Ventex here. Welcome back to another episode of Phasmophobia. We are here at the Edgefield Street House on professional difficulty. It's another solo mission, another challenge that was posed to me by a member of my Discord, Bubblegum Mave the Witch. So if you haven't checked out the Discord yet, the link is down in the description. Lots of cool people there to play with, and I'm always hanging around if you want to come say hey to me. But anyway, this challenge that she posed was that I can only walk backwards. So I can't press W, A, or D, only the S key for my movement, and obviously crouch. I can move my mouse to change my camera angle, because that's the only way I can open doors, really, since I'm not VR, so we will be doing that. But no moving forward or to the sides, so if the ghost goes into hunt mode, it's going to be a lot harder to escape. So hopefully we can get all the objectives and hopefully discover what type of ghost it is. That's my idea of success for this mission. Uh, the objectives, though... Some of you know with the dirty water, uh, it's impossible sometimes if the ghost isn't around the water or is not interactive with the water. So if that's one, and I don't have that one, I'm not going to say it's a failure. But anything else I should be able to get. So let's go ahead and add our equipment that we're going to go in with. And once I grab the house keys, that is when the challenge will begin. So I'm going to have everything set up on the porch already just to save some time. So I'll see you guys inside. All right, and we're back. So our ghost name is Margaret Taylor. She got the motion sensor, crucifix, and thermometer for our objectives. She responds to be everyone, but that doesn't really matter. We're alone, so hopefully we can get the motion sensor. That should be easy. Thermometer should be easy. Uh, crucifix might take some time. It all depends. Sometimes that goes quick. Sometimes it takes forever. Uh, depending on how she's behaving, if it takes forever, I might just avoid that one and just go with the other three. Um, but ideally we want to figure out what type of ghost it is. That's the main objective, but I hope to get everything done. So we're going to go ahead and grab this key, and that is when the challenge begins. Again, only walking backwards. Only pressing the S key to move. Alright. So I got everything set up. Let's turn on a flashlight. I got everything set up right here on the porch. So let me grab, let me bend down, grab my spirit book and my thermometer set up like I always do at the beginning because they're nice and easy to detect the ghost and place down. Let's get started. Okay. Nothing in here. I can move my camera, obviously, like I said, to open doors and look around, but I can't move any other direction than backwards. Lots of creaking going on over here in this kitchen area. I heard a door. It sounded like it was upstairs. Yeah, it's not here. And we might as well check over here. Since we're in this area. There's a bone there. That's going to be nice. Yeah, it sounds like it's coming from up. So let's go upstairs. Uh, Actually, while we're here... Nothing. That sounded like the garage, actually. Jeez, they're moving doors. Here's the garage. Maybe it's in the basement. I don't see it in the garage. Here's the breaker in the garage. There's a plant. There's the basement. We gotta move it towards us. Okay. This is gonna be down here. Could be. Nope. I don't get any freezing temps down here either. I don't see an Ouija board or nothing. I always say Ouija. Ouija board. Interesting. I was looking it up earlier and the Ouija board actually named itself. I always thought that was interesting that I share that with you. There is some running water up there. Looks like uh, Miss Margaret Taylor had to wash her hands. Okay, so it looks like she's in this bathroom. Can't reach the faucet from there. All right, let's lay down our book. Oh, thank you. Uh, be ghost riding. Uh, let's look at our thermometer. So we have to have under 10. So we have that a few times. So hopefully that objective is done. If not, we'll have our thermometer in here and we'll pick it back up and that will complete the objective. Uh, since she's right there, let's go ahead and 
open these doors up in case we need to make a getaway. Since we're backing up while we go, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to make our escape. Now usually when I'm running away from ghosts, I'll start moving forward and then I'll backpedal to look at them and kind of taunt them. But on this challenge, I don't have that kind of uh, know-how of my surroundings because I'm only walking backwards. At least when I'm taunting them at first, I can know where I'm going to be heading before I turn around and look at them. Alright. See, I'm getting stuck inside of little old doorways like that. Uh, we'll put one right here in the middle, and we'll put one right here just up a little too far. Let's back up. Just right outside the hallway. She's messing with a lot of stuff. We got our crucifixes down, so I feel comfortable. I feel safe. I generally don't use a crucifix because I do feel safe with them down. Uh, however, it is an objective, and for this for this challenge, I'm trying to complete all the objectives. So I'm going to grab the motion sensor and a UV light just because she's messing with a bunch of stuff. So hopefully I can find some fingerprints. Motion sensor is also an objective, so that's why I grabbed that as well. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll set up our motion sensor right here above the mirror. And then we'll grab our UV light. There we go. There's a handprint right there. So we got fingerprints and ghost writing. So that'll be a spirit or a revenant. So a spirit will be EMF five will be a revenant. A spirit will be a spirit box. So let's go grab our EMF and our spirit box, and we can figure out what this is. Uh, we don't need that anymore. Another thing I want to grab is a camera. So I might grab that in a spirit box because we got a bone in the living room. We got dirty water and. Uh, let's see this camera and we can still take a photo of her as well let's go back into the living room where's that bone at I saw I thought it was in here that I saw it maybe it was in the kitchen yeah I guess it was in the kitchen I did see a bone all right let's back on up messing with doors there it is all right, a little bit further. Pick it up. There we go. One piece of evidence, or not evidence, DNA. That's going to be nice money. Take a picture and pick up any bones you find for monies. You get money for the photo and money for bone evidence. All right, let's head back upstairs. This hallway light's on, which is going to be nice. It's going to keep us nice and sane. Boom, picture of the dirty water. So as you can see here, bone and dirty water. Now let's go ahead and get our EMF out. We're going to put this down right here. And then let's go grab our spirit box. And it's going to be one or the other, either spirit box or EMF. Uh, while we're out here grabbing our spirit box, let's go ahead and check out our objectives and see what all we've completed. There we go. Crucifix is the only thing we have left. That's what I thought. Sometimes that crucifix gets done quick. Sometimes it takes forever. So if it takes too long, not going to worry about it. I hope you guys still think that's a success if I complete all the other objectives. I don't like using crucifix. I like going into hunt modes, but on this backwards challenge, hunt mode will be difficult, but still that crucifix is just, I don't know, not fun to wait around for a lot of the time. Uh, let's turn off this light and see if she will talk to us. Where are you? How old are you? Do you want to hurt me? Where are you? Where are you? Do you want me to leave? Okay, so I'm not getting anything on the spirit box yet. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and keep it on. Turn off the light. Uh, let's grab our EMF reader, and then we'll see if we can get an EMF-5. If we get EMF-5, then that will mean it's a revenant, and then that's definitely something we don't want to stick around for, because it's hard enough to out... I mean, you can't outrun a revenant. And for us to have to outrun one or try to maneuver without any other movement except for walking backwards, it's going to be tough. So here we go. We got the sink in here. We got two so far. Trying to turn this off. It's hard to see that little reticle. I wish they would paint it something else other than white. 
There we go. Especially for people who do have trouble seeing, because I can see alright, but if I was like partially blind, there'd be no way. Margaret Thomas. Margaret Thomas, where are you? I do have my camera at the ready. I just gotta go scroll up for it. Margaret Thomas. Give us a sign. She turned off the hallway light. I'm gonna turn that back on for now, or at least, nope, never mind. Breaker's out. Hopefully she doesn't go into hunt mode. Margaret, Margaret Thomas. Margaret. Where are you? Still asking questions relevant to the spirit box as well, so I get a response. To how old are you? Four. Need one more. How old are you? Where are you, Margaret? Give me a sign. Still four. I'm moving around to see if it'll bump up, but that was it. Margaret Thomas. Okay, that is EMF 5. It is a revenant. That should be the crucifix objective, too, if I'm not mistaken. Let's head out and see if we got it. Oh, there we go. So it is a revenant. Probably the most dangerous ghost for me, being someone who likes to taunt the ghost, and especially being only able to press the S key to move backwards. Alright, so we got all the evidence. Our sanity's at 73. I feel comfortable enough at this point to try to provoke it a little bit more to get the crucifix objective. So let's go ahead and back up, get back inside there. Is that a 10 for a second there? And see if we can't get the crucifix objective to activate. If we can, then great, 100% successful. If we can't, I'll cut back once we're done. Okay, still a five. All right. Margaret, where are you? Where are you? She disappeared. Give me a sign. Show yourself. I still can get a picture of her too. Just like that. So one thing I like to do, just a tip for you guys. You'll notice that when I have an object and I have a uh, camera in my hand, I'll figure out which I need to switch to real quick in case she does make a quick appearance. I can switch, take a picture, switch back to what I am using. Margaret. Give us a sign. I keep saying Thomas. I think it's Taylor, actually. Margaret. Okay. Still need to get the crucifix. Where are you? Show yourself. Two. Drop down. You know what? Uh, let me go ahead and do that. Because that gets annoying after a while. I know it does for me. I'm sure y'all don't enjoy that either. Hearing nothing but static. Now it's nice and quiet. Let's back up to the window. We can see the moon over there. Look at that. I think that's the moon. But when you exit out the front, I think the moon's up there too. Uh, oh. that crucifix move slightly no it's still there but yeah when you walk out the front door which is that way the moon's up there in the top and that looks like a moon too I guess we're in a world where there's two moons where are you show yourself Give me a sign. Where are you? It's 
funny. It was a five to four. Try and back up. See if it'll go back to five. Where are you? Do you want me to leave? Are you scared? Where are you? Margaret? Margaret? I'll try one more time to get her to activate the crucifix and then I'm not going to worry about it. If she's not going to do it, she could be... I mean, she couldn't do it for a long time. It could take a long time for her to not hunt with the crucifix. So I'll provoke her a little bit more, see if we can get a response other than EMF 5. Okay. That should do it. Very well. As you were, Margaret. Let's back up out of here. Back up into our chuck. Did that complete it? That had to complete it. It didn't complete it. Hopefully you guys still find that a success. I've tried to complete it. 1080 is at 50%, 60%, 63. Uh, I could stick around for like another 10, 15, 20 minutes and try to complete it, but I feel like I've done enough. Uh, I got good evidence. I figured out all the other objectives, and we got some good scares in there too. Uh, so we got Ghost Riding Fingerprints, EMF 5 Revenant. Let's go ahead and shut it down. We're going to back up to our board, see if we got the objective. There it is. All right, let's back up to this board. <laughs> Revenant, $175, 160 experience. So there you have a professional solo only walking backwards. I did not press the A key, the W key, or the D key that entire time. Figured out all the evidence except for the crucifix, but that could have took forever. And the times that she breathed in her ear, nothing was triggered. So I feel like that's just going to waste y'all's time, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to move on to more challenges. If you have a challenge, post it down below. I'll look at it. If something I can do, I'll do it. Uh, some of the challenges that you've been suggesting might require a live stream, which I'm not opposed to. So let me know how you guys feel about that. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out that Discord, and I'll see you guys next time.